just thought that I would do a shop with me for your RV at the Dollar Tree and I would go through and show you items and things that I think would be perfect in the RV or that I have in my RV. Since it's so hot here in Alabama, I figured we would go indoors and you can do a couple of shop with me because this week I'm going to be at Dollar Tree and the next week I'm below. So if this is some content that you would like, then you need to subscribe. So in the summertime, I think Dollar Tree is a great place. They have plastic plates that you could use for your RV. If you're trying to supply your RV on a budget, these work perfect. They're new, but these are plastic plates that you can use and they keep these typically all year round. They almost always have the marble looking ones. But they even got navy blue. One thing, one big tip, if you just bought a new RV, don't go and buy all kinds of new stuff just to start with. Just need to fill out what you need. And if you can come to the Dollar Tree and buy a few things, try it out before you go spend any extra money on expensive stuff, that's the way to do it. I wish somebody had told me that. They have these little deli baskets. I saw another YouTuber talk about these, that they save them a ton of paper plates and stuff. They get these in the packs of little papers that you put in them off of Amazon and that they make great serving trays so that you're not wasting paper plates. They even have plate holders so that if you just want to use disposable plates and not have to wash dishes and you want your plates to be thicker and heavier, they have these. There's four pieces for $1.25. They have bowls. They have a lot of pretty plastic cups, especially in the summertime is when you can get a lot of these pretty cups. They're small, but they have the drying racks that you could put in your RV, which would be perfect for your RV because they're small. And then they have the tablecloths if you wanted to grab a bunch of those so that you could put those out and change them out as they got dirty. And if you have a beach themed RV, this is the place for you right now because they have some beautiful beach themed items. One of the things that I pick up at the Dollar Tree all the time is because a lot of their stuff is smaller, which fits in the RV better, and then you don't have to worry about it, the heavy weight. But if you didn't want to buy the small ones every time, you could just take this and refill it and then put it back in your camper. The smaller things like this are perfect for that weekend warrior. Another thing that I absolutely love instead of buying cleaning products, I like to get wipes because they're a lot lighter weight it's because it uses less water and you can just wipe something down if you need it. I absolutely love the smell of Fabuloso and I use this to clean our camper. Also, I'll put a little bit in the toilet when we get somewhere and it just makes everything smell so good. Now, baskets and totes, if you're just looking for a good inexpensive basket, they have a lot of different sizes and different shapes. Now, in the hardware section, there's a lot of inexpensive little things that you could get for the RV that would help you. And so if you lose them, you're not gonna miss them. Now, if you can find these bigger spring clamps, they work great to hold the tablecloth on the picnic tables outside the RV so they don't blow away. Now, I love the pop lights if you can find them and they're really hard to find, but they make these magnetic ones, which are way brighter than the pop on ones. And you just put a command strip on the back of them so that you can pull them off to change the batteries. And these are my go-to now. Now, I like all of them. They're all good. So just whichever ones you can find are the ones that you want. If you're looking for an inexpensive way to hang something on the door, these right here for $1.25 are so worth it. You can get yourself some extra hanging storage. Now, if you can find these, these were awesome. We have them in our closet that holds our broom in the camper. These are screw on, but you can just put a command strip on them and it holds them. Whenever you see these, you need to grab them. They are perfect for the RV. They do keep oh, the moisture fine. out. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> They do keep the moisture out, and for $1.25, they totally work. I usually keep a couple of these in the camper 
because they're small and lightweight and they don't take up much space, but if you need to wash your clothes while you're out camping, you got what you need. Again, this is the thing that I like about the Dollar Tree is because the quantity is usually a little smaller, which is a little more lightweight. And for weekend warriors, it works perfect. But I grabbed these small deodorants. These are Bill's brand and they work perfect. You keep them in the camper and if they do get ruined, it wasn't that much. Now I can't find it at this Dollar Tree, but a lot of them have like the little containers that you could put like your makeup in so that you don't have to bring your whole big bottle. You can just get a little bit, put it in there because I have some in our camper and I just fill them up and keep them a little bit in there so that way you're not taking full product out into your camper. Now I'm not going to say these are great quality, but just for your weekend camping, I would say you could grab all kinds of stuff on here instead of going and spending a ton more money. What I did for our camper, they have forks and you can get these at Walmart, even like the cheap ones, but it's $1.25 for two forks. It used to be $1.25 for four forks, but they've changed it. But you get two forks. You can just grab a couple of packs of these and then if they get tore up or messed up, you don't have to worry about it. They have forks, spoons, knives. I've been wanting one of these for the house. Hmm. Guess I'm taking that with me. <laughs> it's a meat chopper. I've been wanting to get to try one. I have these in our camper. I put them in between our pots so that when we're traveling down the road, they don't scratch each other up. If you're covering up bowls and you don't want the flies to get your food, these right here, the splatter guards are really good. Also, if you're looking for a little smaller, for muffin tins, if you bake in your RV, now we use our RV oven and I know a lot of people don't, but if you do use your RV oven, there's like a lot of these things that are smaller that fit in the RV oven that work great. If you haven't watched it, I did an air fryer must-have videos and somebody told me they use these in their air fryer. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these and try them in my air fryer. If you have any tips or tricks that anything that y'all would ever want to tell me, you can always comment below and let me know because I will probably try it out if I haven't already. If you have vitamins that are sliding around on your counter space, if you hot glue this non-slip onto them, it will help them stay in place and you don't have to move them off your counter. If you need a bunch of cheap spices, you could just get these little spices and keep them in your camper so that way you don't have to keep putting them back and forth between your house and camper. They have these cute little plastic spoon rest that would work great for the camper. If you could find these little silicone mats, they work perfect for the camper so that you don't ruin your counter when you sit down a hot pot. And they're super lightweight and don't take up much room because they're thin. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said, it is just so hot and I can't go in the camper right now. I just thought I'd do a couple of shop with me videos for your RV. Till next time, like and subscribe.